From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN New News. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us on the New News. I'm Augusta McDonald and for Diane Parker. In Billings, a 58-year-old man's body was found inside a pickup on 15th Street West late Monday night. The victim had a bullet wound and the vehicle he was in was parked in the middle of the road. At this time, no arrests have been made and police have not confirmed if they've identified any suspects. We did talk to someone who lives near the crime scene. He believes he heard the shooting go down. I was asleep and at 10.30 I heard some popping noises. I thought it was uh, car backfiring or maybe maybe gunfire. Yeah. So I looked out my window. Billings police say there's no known threat to the public at this time. That investigation is ongoing. I knew this morning the U.S. Senate passed legislation that would force TikTok's China-based parent company to sell the social media platform under the threat of a ban. The legislation was part of a larger $95 billion package that provides billions in foreign aid to Ukraine and Israel. The latest federal bill would give the company nine months to sell the app with a possible three-month extension. If they don't sell within a year, TikTok could be banned from U.S. app stores. One Montana-based swimwear designer tells us losing the app would be a blow to businesses like hers. Social media allows me to sell outside of my state, allows me to have a year-round business selling bikinis. I can't do that without social media. So for, for the state and for the country to be taking that away, they're literally taking away money from the economy. The bill now goes to President Biden's desk. He says he will sign the package as soon as he gets it. And a new lawsuit has been filed challenging a new state law that some say will divert money from public schools to private entities in Montana. House Bill 393 passed by the 2023 legislature creates education savings accounts for special needs students. Under the law, parents can opt to receive state funded reimbursements for special education services obtained outside of Montana's public education system. Plaintiffs argue the law could lead to significant reductions in school districts general funds they believe it violates the Montana Constitution's guarantee of an equal and quality public education for all students. A good Wednesday afternoon, everyone. Taking a look around the country on this Wednesday. A little bit cooler weather for the Great Lakes as well as New England with temperatures mostly in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Some rain around the Boston area. Also some rain and thunderstorms for parts of Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. Plenty of heat for Phoenix with a high today of 93 and 87 degrees for Las Vegas. Now, it's not going to be that warm here, but it will be above average. We have more blue sky than anything else. Just a few clouds in the sky right now. Look where our current temperatures are in the noon hour. It's mostly 60s for us and compared to this time yesterday everybody's warming up enjoy all the warmth today it's going to be the warmest day that we're going to have going forward we have some changes involving some lower elevation rain and mountain snow that coming up Columbia Falls School District is running three levies in the upcoming May 7th election, and one of those levies is to re-roof the high school. All three levies include an elementary and high school operations levy and a high school building reserve levy. Currently, the high school has plastic covering the ceiling. Officials say the roof deteri deteriorated much quicker than initially expected, and construction has been done to replace the trusses and ensure the building is safe, but there's still a lot to be done to complete this roof. The Operational levies would be permanent, uh, whereas the building reserve levy would only be for two years to get that roof repaired. Uh, I'm really just asking our community for support. Uh, the building, the building reserve levy, as you can see with the high school roof ahead of me, that's what we're really looking for, to replace the roof, move it off, put a new one on, uh, just to make sure we have that safe and secure learning environment for our students and staff. Yeah, it just doesn't quite feel like complete. Yeah. Well, in other schools, when or even my parents or different things, that they kind of seem like it doesn't seem believable that like we just don't have a roof right now and that we're still functioning as a school. Um, and so I think that's important, especially because next year, if it doesn't get passed, it's going to become even more chaos and it's really going to affect the students here. The ballots for this levy are due on May 7th. And a first-of-its-kind multi-county community health survey will happen this June. Volunteers will go door-to-door -door across Lewis and Clark, Jefferson, Powell, Broadwater, and Marr counties. The Community Assessment for Public Health Emergency Response, or CASPER, survey is a collaboration between organizations, including Lewis and Clark Public Health, Purview Health Center, and St. Peter's Health. Volunteers will go door to door across uh, these counties, and that survey is meant to provide a snapshot of community health conditions. 
behaviors, and social determinants of health. That door-to-door -door survey will happen Tuesday, June 25th between 2.30 and 7.30 p.m. Residents who participate will be eligible to win a $500 Visa gift card. And those results will help identify public health needs and form a community health improvement plan. The deadline to apply to help as a volunteer is Monday, June 17th. The Billings Airport is a step closer to adding more daily flights in and out of the Magic City. The Billings Air Service Commission officially reached a matching goal and can now utilize a $1 million grant. A new $50,000 grant from the Montana Department of Commerce puts the commission at $750,000 total raised, which was the prerequisite for the federal grant. The money will fund a daily nonstop flight to either Los Angeles or San Francisco. At first it was supposed to be for mostly tourism, but I believe that it's a lot better that it gives us access to a lot of the technology that's in California. Our ag technology could be a lot better, and it's because we haven't had access. We have a lot of passengers that are traveling between Los Angeles Basin and Billings, as well as San Francisco and Billings, and so we want to serve those passengers and that demand with direct flights on a daily year-round basis. Officials are currently negotiating with air carriers for the route. Summer schedules are already set, so the flights won't start until fall at the earliest. Helping new parents overcome addiction. MTN's John Amy tells us about a new program in Butte that organizers say is in need. Addiction and depression among new mothers is unfortunately becoming a growing problem in the Butte community. Fortunately, there's a new resource that's going to help these new mothers try to overcome these challenges. It's something that organizers say has been in need in this and surrounding communities for a long time. I can't even explain the need. Um, it is probably 10 years past due in our community. Yeah. Butte recently opened the Women's Resource and Family Support Center to help pregnant women and new parents struggling with addiction and depression stay on track. We've lost a lot of young moms through depression and maybe starting to use again after they didn't use through their pregnancy. They go back to what they normally had used before and end up overdosing. The program will use peer support specialists like Kayla Olson, who knows what it's like to overcome addiction. I had lost everything. Um, I couldn't hold a job. Um, and I could only get about 30 days clean um, and was homeless. She has been clean three years now and believes she can help others who are struggling. And so having that person who understands that and, and can support you through those moments is huge. The program received a $1 million grant to open an office in the Smart Building on West Mercury Street, and it will serve clients in Butte, as well as Deer Lodge, Beaverhead, Madison, and Jefferson Counties. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News. Up next, Jason is in with another check of today's weather. Plus, we're going to take a look at some controlled burn plans up by Great Falls. The MTN Noon News continues right after this.